that's annoying. It's a little higher. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to see if anybody with no makeup on today. All right. And then just figured out how to do this sharing thing. It's probably cutting out for all you guys. I don't have any makeup on and um, I'm going to be trying this flawless finishing touch flawless facial hair remover. Probably seen the infomercials for it. I got mine on Amazon. Uh, so we are going to try it today. So I haven't even like taken it out of the box. But it says it's perfect for facial hair, hair, hair gentle on all skin types, has a light. Um, the battery is included. It says hair won't grow back thicker, guaranteed. No bumps, redness, or irritation. We'll see about that. So, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet because I wanted to take it out and, like, see how it works with y'all. Hi, Ann. And so, this is it out of the box. And it has some instructions. So it looks like we need to insert the battery right quick. So this is it. You know, I've used something like this in the past. And, um, I don't know. I wasn't, it kind of scared me. It hurt. But it wasn't, like, battery powered. Pull apart, true. Oh, that's a big fat lie. Oh, okay. So you had to pull it apart to find the battery thing. All right. So putting in the battery, it's just a double A. So that's kind of nice. All right. Are you hear it? Hmm. All right. So how to use, remove the cap. Locate it to power on. It's got a little light on it. So you can see even the finest hairs. Oh, what did you say? It popped up and then it went away. Um, so it just says, gently press the head of the unit flat against your skin. The unit should not be at an angle. Proceed making small circular motions to remove unwanted hair. So they've even got all these fancy images because this lady has so much hair on her face she needs to remove. <laughs> okay. Quick start. Remove cap. Install battery. Turn it on. Remove hair. Use in a circular motion. Okay. So like this is not that much shorter than what this is. Just saying. So I have my mirror here so I can really see up close. And I haven't done anything to my face like except for like pulling a random eyebrow hair here and there. So... Um, yeah, it's, we're going to really see if it works. It sounds kind of janky. I won't lie. Ugh. Bugs. So I'm doing this part. So... Looks like it took some off down there, but. Does it hurt? So, oh, thanks. I need to switch it around so people can read it. Um, no. I didn't feel anything. Which makes me skeptical if it's working. Oh, circular. We're going to be able to really tell if it's working on my sweet stash. Okay, so it feels smooth, and no, I didn't feel a thing, to be totally honest. All right, here we go. We're moving up here. That'll be the real test.
Maybe I need to slow it down. Okay, so I just did my, trying to do my, yeah, right? Have beards. So I just did my upper lip. And I'm not really impressed with the removing of hair. So it comes with this little brush. So we're going to like brush it out to see if maybe I had so much chin hair that I clogged it. Doubtful, but okay. Here we Oh, after each use, you're supposed to... Oh yeah, there's like nothing in there. So, let's put the lid back on and try again. Here we go. Okay, that was way better. So maybe I was doing it wrong. Oh, see? So you might be asking, why do you shave your face? Well, I have awesome hormones. And they give me like... Can you see that? Here, I can move it a little closer. Hopefully my light doesn't like... Get pissed. So... Emily, Marty needs to know how you comment, because she doesn't know how. I have never done it before. I will say, though, I'm getting redness on my chin. Maybe I did it too hard. I don't know. Ooh, I felt some little bit of pulls up there. Okay. So, that's not too bad. So, why do you want to shave your face? Well, when you use, like, products like I use, it just goes on better if you have a smooth, smoother surface. And I have really amazing hormones, so I get, like, hairs here and here. All right, Marty, should open the video in the app. It won't let me do it if I just open the link through Facebook. That's what Emily just said. Okay, in between the brows. I haven't had my brows th threaded in like a grip, so we're going to try it without taking any eyebrow hairs. Because this hair up here... Look at that. Oh, it really worked. Oh, don't take off my regular eyebrow hair. I know, I'm getting dangerously close. Are you guys nail biting? Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, right? Okay, so that took that away. And then I usually have this giant... Well, right now I got a owie, but... I usually have this giant mole that's got hairs in it. Oh, I took it right away. I wanted to see if it hurt that. Okay. So, I don't feel any pulling or, like, irritation. Like, I literally felt nothing. So, I don't think... Like, the one I used to have back in the day that was like this, I think it used to, like, pull the hairs out because it wasn't battery powered like this one is I think I rubbed it over my face and it like yanked the hairs out you know like pulled them out by somehow it's like shaving it kind of so like here it is off I'm gonna show it to you and then here it is on and then on the inside of it if you can see it is like this little whirly gig and you just put it on And it shaves them away. So it's I don't it's not pulling it out. Please oh 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 now here's something I will say. Might take some practice to get the 
accuracy down. Like, you know, figuring out how it works. But all in all, I'm kind of impressed. Like, I don't think I want to... I don't know if that did anything. I'm scared to go up any higher. I don't want to, like, cut myself some weird... I'm even... Now, but see, I do have the redness. And it might be maybe I'm pressing too hard. But I am seeing that I do have a little bit of redness. It's not irritated or, like, bumpy or anything. But I'm just saying, like, you could, like, throw this in your purse and, like, no one would know what it was. So if you were... And I might do that. I might throw it in my car. Because that's the place where I'm always like, oh, dang, I miss. Or get another one. But they were $19.99 on Amazon. I think that's well worth it. Sometimes, um... And I don't know, like, I have really fine hair. So if you have, like, really thick, you know, hair, I don't know how well this would work for you. But I think it would work. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I could try it, like, on my arm. I got some longer hair on my arm. Let's see here. So, yeah, I took it off in kind of a spot. Not that you could probably see it, but. So, yeah, I mean, it says it's for facial hair. I'm trying to see. Okay, so to clean it, after each use, clean the head by using the brush to wipe away any hair residue. That sounds friggin' awful. Where'd that do? Oh, there it is. So it comes with this little brush. So you're supposed to brush inside this cap. But no, I'm kind of surprised. Like, I thought I would be yelping in pain. I thought that's what it was going to do. But it doesn't lie. A lot of times you see those infomercials and you're like, yeah, right, Carol. It freaking hurts. You're just not saying it. But it doesn't. Um, Empty hair from the body. So it has, like, this little reservoir. If you have that much hair, I'm sorry. You might. Um... And put it back on tips and pointers for superior results use on hair a quarter inch in length or less if the unit begins to slow down clear the hair removal head of any hair residue if the unit still then change the battery gentle enough for everyday use for airbrush like makeup application use daily so that i'm like this is creepily close let's move it back um prior to first use test on a small area if any sensitive allergic reactions recur or occur, discontinue use immediately. Now, it says on here that it's 18 karat gold plated. So, if you did have allergies to metal, this might still be okay for you. Um, gentle on all skin types. Now, like I said, I think I had a little redness, but it's pretty much gone now. It's my mug. So, I mean, I would say all in all, for $19.99, that's not bad. And it works. I mean, it worked for me. And it comes with a battery. They're like leaps and bounds. So, hmm, dermatologist approved. Yeah, anyways, finishing touch. Flawless facial hair remover. Super fast and easy. I bet that you could use this, like, if you missed a spot shaving... On your leg or if you have hairy knuckles <laughs> just the other i shouldn't even say this on youtube in front of god and everyone but the other day though well, yesterday morning we were at yoga and no monday night sorry not yesterday morning monday night i was at yoga and i was very embarrassed by the length of hair on my toes i could have used this for that so that would be nice nice to have like in the car in case you missed a spot like if you no use like a tinkle razor normally but I have to say I'm pretty impressed I'm trying to see if I have this light though is a joke this little light they have on here it does nothing <laughs> truth this light though it's no it doesn't do nothing I, I mean, it's not, I mean, here, let's do this. Watch this. Oh, wait, let me shut it off. Let me turn this off. 
So we got ugly. Maybe if it was like really dark. No, it's really not lighting up anything. No. So yeah, I wouldn't rec if you're going to do this, do it in a well lit area. Because that light is not getting you nowhere. I guess unless maybe you're in complete darkness. So anyways, flawless finish. Super awesome. $19.99 on Amazon. I'll post the link in the... When I post the video, or when I'm done with this video, I'll get a link to the one I got. So yeah, I think this works really good. I'm quite impressed. So anyway, this is just a short episode this week. Um, next week... Drum roll. We are going to be talking about these guys, the Silly George Magnetic Lashes. So what I'll do is I'm going to do a full face of makeup next week and we'll put these magnetic lashes on. Um, as of right now, I've worn them a couple times. So these are the three magnet ones. I got them off an ad on Facebook. So we're going to talk about those next week. So I'm going to do full face makeup and then add these and show you guys how to put them on. Hopefully I still need some more practice. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be on next week's episode. If you want to check that out Wednesday at eight 30. Um, what else? I'm also going to be doing the circuit. No. Yeah. The circuit water bottle. Got one of those in the mail. I've been trying it out. Um, so we're going to talk about those in a couple weeks too. What else? Hopefully by then, uh, Mascara's new eyeshadows will be out so I can show you guys all those because I think that'll be really fun. Um, so yeah, so thanks for tuning in for this short episode tonight. Be looking forward to the Silly George episode next week. And yeah, I just love this sparkly case. You guys clearly can't, there you go. Can you see how glittery it is? That's my favorite part. And that it comes with this cool case to keep them in. So anyways, we'll talk about all that next week. So thanks for tuning in. Real Life Real Beauty, as you see on my sign that's backwards. I'm going to have to fix it so people can read it. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later.